It is strange life, is it not? My father was born to serve, to be a soldier for a king. And serve he did, a royal guard with Philip II and then a companion with great Alexander. My father was wise and strong, so Alexander elevated him to one of his great commanders. And he was great. At the Battle of Hydaspes, he beat back elephants for Alexander to claim his victory. But what my father came to know was that he was born to Apollo, god of the sun. And those born to the gods are not born to serve. So when Alexander died, the duty of the gods became clear. Lead. Lead the sons of Greece, the sons of heroes in this foreign land, claimed by the right of the gods and Alexander's conquest. And lead he did. With his friend Ptolemaeus, he beat back the cruel Antigonus. With him and his son defeated, my father was cheered into ancient Babylon to claim his birthright as a son of the gods, the throne of Babylonia. That Cyclops Antigonus, befell by his pride and ambition, could not let my father rest. But Seleucus, my father, was cunning. Hailed by the Easterners as their king, his deal with Chandragupta, the lord of India, to give them tracts of useless desert for 500 war elephants, was nothing short of divine inspiration. These elephants were crucial to crushing Antigonus at Ipsos and killing him once and for all. But the gods can play cruel tricks on the lives of men. And when Ptolemaeus died, my wise and cunning father became careless. He took in evil Koraunos, exiled by his brother Ptolemaeus II, out of love for his father. And how did Koraunos repay him? The very man who took him in when all else was lost to him. He conspired in cruelty to kill Seleucus. But Karaunos taught me a valuable lesson when he murdered my father. Do not trust the Ptolemies, and they think I have forgotten. But for now, there is peace. But one day, I will take my revenge and burn their precious cities to the ground. Let them feel the pain that I felt. For now, there are more important matters to see to. Rebellion is brewing in the east and west. Bithynia and Cappadocia have betrayed us to assert their independence. Ha! What right do they have to independence over a man that's blessed with God's blood? When I take their lands back and end their sad lives, I shall make sure the gods find a punishment so harsh that it makes Prometheus himself look like he's living in peace and bliss. The unwashed Celts, too, have to be driven out of rightful Greek land. It is an affront to have unwashed barbarians at our gates. Let us see how they fare when elephants have the wrath upon them. But the loss of our southern lands to the Ptolemies is the greatest slight of them all. But for now, our uneasy peace must stand, lest we both destroy ourselves in the fight. But do not worry. When the time is right, we will strike them down and retake those lands as ours. And if we do all this, we become the true heirs to Alexander. The true sword of the gods, blessed by Apollo and Zeus themselves. And our dynasty, the line of Apollo, will be cemented in these lands for a thousand years. Oh gods, I just hope you deem me worthy. Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, and Christmas has come early, hasn't it? Because we are going to be playing RTR Imperium Surrection version 0.5 today. It's finally here, and I cannot wait 
to bring this to you and to play the mod in all its glory, guys. Now, please let me know whether you liked that intro and drop a like down below. It was based on this glorious intro by the mod team, and I'm going to scroll through that so that you guys can read it if, so if you want to, of course. Now, I'm going to be trying to do those intros for every episode, guys, uh, so the episodes might come out a little bit slower than usual, but that's just because I'll be working on those intros. Intros. Now, the Salu kids, the Salucids, they are hard, guys. They are very, very difficult. And I've done some uh, some pre runs, some pre playthroughs just to check them out. And they are difficult, guys. Your empire is spread, it's crumbling with unrest and rebellion. So it's time. We sorted this empire out, and that means there's going to be a lot of campaign management, guys, with the Salucids. So if you're a campaign management stan like me, you're going to love this gameplay. Now guys, without further ado, let's get on to that glorious, glorious campaign map, and I'll see you there. The Greeks could rule the world. Alexander did. He took a Greek army to the Far Indus. There was nothing left to conquer. The world was his. Instead of their proper enemies, those who envy all the Greeks have done. Alexander must weep if the dead weep. I would weep in his place, but I would also hope. The world turns. What was may come again. The fates still spin the web of men's lives. So now, perhaps the gods wish Greeks to be great again. Perhaps a new Alexander will take up the sword. Bring order where there is chaos. Remake the world of men to a better plan. Perhaps. Here we are, guys. The fantastically unstable Seleucid Empire. <laughs> Not sweating at all. We're here, we're here. And we're in the game. Now, first things first, guys, I'm going to toggle the fog of war so I can show you our plan and show you this glorious map in all its beauty. So we're going to toggle that fog of war just so I can show you this map, guys. And if you've not seen this map, it is ginormous. Look at this. All the way from India. I'm keeping I'm going. I'm not even at the end of the Seleucids yet. There, across the Seleucids. There is Greece. Now, one thing to remember, guys, if you are doing this... Um, this gameplay. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. You go on to advanced settings, um, I believe, and no, you go to gameplay settings, uh, go to the second page, and then go to no settlement labels, and it will help your campaign map be nice and smooth like we can see now. But look at this glorious map, guys. Look how large it is. It is fantastic. I know a lot of you have probably already seen the map on various videos. Just if you haven't, look how glorious it is, how big it is, and how vast our particular empire is. So guys, let's talk about our plan. We are the Seleucids. We have Babylonia. We have uh, Syria over here. We go all the way through Turkey, right into Greece itself. So in terms of our plan, guys, we are not going to be able to hold some of these outer regions like Lysimachia and Mar Maronea. These guys are going. These guys are going. I'm going to put them on high tax rate and let them rebel. The, the reason for this, guys, is tactically, we do not want to get into a war with the Antigonids yet. So by doing this, we're avoiding a war with either the Adrissians or the Antigonids. Either way, it doesn't matter. I want to avoid that war as quick as possible. We are allied with Pergamon, but I don't think that alliance is going to last, especially seen as they're hemmed in. And we're at war with Bithynia. That is the first target we're going to go for in terms of expansion, guys. Bithynia, and then we're going to try and avoid these rebel settlements and go straight for Galatia and take those both out pretty much as early as we can. 
Uh, Cappadocia is our ally, but they may betray us as well at some point. We've also got to flex our diplomatic weight, because we have a lot of diplomatic weight because of how big we are, to try to force alliances with as many people as possible to avoid war at all costs in our extremities. Because getting troops to these regions, guys, is no mean feat at all. You can see the, the length of distance we have to go to get troops to these regions, and Armenia is definitely a target we want uh, to avoid going to war with. Now, these regions up here in the far northeast, you can see we come all the way up to uh, Karakata, um, with Bactria, who is our ally, but Parthia is not. Um, I think we're going to lose a few of these guys, and I'm really not bothered. You can see how far away they are, and if we look at our income down here, we're losing... Pretty much half of it to a corruption. We're still making some income, but we're losing about half of it to corruption, which is a lot. Now, over in the east, eventually I want to come and take these rich regions. You can see how many regions are up here. Um, we want to come and take them at some point, but for now, it's nowhere near a priority. Our first priority is our economy, of course. So, we will begin by sorting out our economy. So now we've done our plan, guys, of attack, our plan of attack on Bithynia. We will toggle the fog of war. Um, and I will be going through all this economy stuff without editing it out, just so you guys can see how I'm going to do this. Um, of course, if you want to skip this part, because it might, <laughs> it might go on for a while, me deleting troops until we become positive, um, you can do the chapters are down in the description down below. But of course... Um, of course, remember if you're playing, guys, by copying exactly what I do, you might not st not win still. You've got to play based on the RNG of your nation and what the AI does rather than anything else. So first things first, we want to use Sardis as our recruitment hub. It's got a blacksmith in. We have Antiochus over here, and we're going to go and retrain him firstly. So on top of that, we're going to gather as many troops as we can in this region while keeping the public order nice. Uh, and low Sardis. Ah, wrong, uh, wrong, wrong place. Well, that's a great start, isn't it? You can come into Sardis. It doesn't matter anyway. We've got a few turns before everything gets bad. So, yep, 60%. We're going to try and keep them above 70. So if we have to reduce the taxes, that's fine. We're going to go through every single place we can. Try and get these troops out. Get the hoplites into there. We're going to use as many of these ones in the west as we can. When it comes to the east, that's going to be a different story. We're going to be deleting a lot of troops in the east there. 67, that should be fine. We're on 150 here. We're also going to do a uh, lot of culture converting, guys, to get a lot of these places to Greek. I'm going to put you up to me to high. So, we've dealt with those. How about Kadoi? Yeah, Kadoi. You can use losing this guy. So I hope you uh, enjoy the series, guys. It's going to be a tough one. And of course, this first episode is going to be a lot of campaign management and trying to sort out both our economy uh, and um, basically our economy and our corruption and our unrest in a lot of these regions. Oh, who are these? Pisidian Javelin Men. Oh, yeah, they're, they're a pretty cool unit. And we'll be showing off this brand new roster as well, guys, of course. I think we leave Andromarkos there. So some of these more eastern guys we're going to get rid of. 67% is fine. Going to get rid of you, Pisidians. Uh, you're fine. What about you guys up here? Kataion. I'm going to risk getting rid of the Greek Slingers. And you can see we're, we're starting to make money now. Uh, in terms of we're clawing back some of that deficit. Now we are right next to the Galatians here. So I'll leave them in there. Also go higher with the tax rate. Uh, and we'll probably... Uh, these guys around here. I'm fine with Cappadocia over there. But I will move a few troops up to Pessinus. I'd ideally like some infantry. If we get the general out of here. Is that good? Yes. They're still happy. Uh, they're still on 82% down there. That's fine. Uh, Loranda... Let's get rid of the Greek Slingers again. 56%. Uh, over here. 
113. Let's get rid of the Greek archers. Probably even go higher with that tax rate. Over here. How? Oh, I mean, this is Antioch area. These troops, they could actually be really useful. I'm going to take them. Get them into Antioch. You go to Antioch as well. You will lose the Prodromoi. Costing us 344 a turn. It's quite a lot. And uh, then over here. We need an army down in the south. This is really important. This is our really important region in terms of keeping it protected from the Ptolemies. A lot of these places have the wrong culture as well. So we need to be careful. Um, but up here in the north, we're definitely going to be uh, deleting some of these Greek Peltas, etc. We don't need them. The Prodromoi are a pretty terrible cavalry unit in general. So we're going to be... Okay, that's 70%. That's fine. A lot of these places we're going to be ignoring. Where's Ekbatana? That's one going to be one of our... Yeah, Ekbatana is going to be our defensive region against the Armenians for all our regions in Babylon. It's kind of like a, um, a holder here. It's got some uh, Chalcospedes in there already. So we want to get it nice and defended. So we'll take some troops to there. Uh, but yes, we were going through troops over here, weren't we? So let's get up there. Greek archers, we don't need them. It's going to be a lot of this, guys, to start with. Uh, that's 60% now. Let's go low. You can see we're on 7,900 now. Uh, first things first, the Prodromoi, they're a lot more expensive than those Greek archers, and we'll put you up. I do still want, uh, population growth in these places, guys, of course. Uh, yeah, the Peltas are a lot more expensive. Get rid of you. Uh, yep, still happy. Uh, Prodromoi, of course, get rid of you. Right, so we've done those. Let's go down south here. These ones are actually going to be used... So we'll get into Arados. Because uh, you can see we, we're pretty... Uh, we're pretty uh, weak on this front line down here. You're going to have to go low. Unless I can swap out a Prodromoi maybe. Yeah, now uh, medium. Yeah, you're fine. So we're going to gather a bit of an army at Antioch that can... Uh, that can defend down here in the south. That's why we're keeping these troops down here. Now, we've done all these guys. Let's have a look. Ceresia. I think Greek archers again can go. Uh, if you're wondering which ones I'm choosing, I'm choosing, generally I'm choosing the ones with a bigger uh, upkeep. But if there's, uh, say, Greek archers, they only have 80 people. Um, whereas the Akontistai have 100. The 100 is better for getting rid of uh, public order problems. So that's why we're doing the smaller unit, even though it might be less upkeep. Um, Arbella. A lot of these places around here should be fine in terms of the public order, because this is kind of our heartland. Yep, disband. Da, da, da. We'll go for the Greek Slingers. They're so cheap, the Greek Slingers. That's the one problem. Like here, for example, we'll get rid of a Hoplite unit because it's expensive. I think we leave those guys in Seleucia for now. Just for now. And Babylon. Okay, Babylon's already a bit unhappy. Nippur, get rid of the Prodromoi. You can see we're nearly on, on positive by now, guys. We'll get you on low. You're on 70. That's fine. Uh, and then Greek Peltasts. Get rid of you. Still happy. Susa. Did we come up this way? We did. I think I can afford to send you to Ekbatana. It's going to take a while, but we can. So we'll go through the southern parts first. So Uruk. Yeah, Uruk will leave you for now. This one, definitely get rid of the Peltasts. Sorry, guys, I'll try and speed this up as much as I can. But I think we're doing a decent job. Suluki, yeah, we'll get rid of you. You're Greek as well, which is fantastic. You can see all the different cultures that are on show here now, guys. There's a lot of cultures. Uh, we'll get you on low, keep you like that. Now, this one's Greek, so it should be better. See, these guys, 874 for a Hoplite unit. It's a lot, guys. We're spending a lot of money on these guys. Uh, now, in the middle of the land, we probably need to keep... 
these places happy. Uh, if we can. Yeah. Just because of cultural unrest. Um, I'll leave you on normal. Alexandria Carmania. Go to low. And that is our most easterly edge settlement there. So we'll have a look over here. So what's going to save me more? That's about, about 50 gold by putting it on low. Whereas I can save 160 if I get rid of those guys and then put it on low. That's definitely worth it. Same over here. There we are. Now let's have a look over here. Zranka is very, very likely to rebel. So what we're going to do is let it rebel. So you go there. Put it on very high for for now. Get some money by deleting what we can. It's going to give us a bit of money. Uh, we can't delete the Greek colony. I wish we could destroy the governor's villa. That would be great. But yeah, that's going to give us some money, guys. Some extra money. Alexandria Prophecy. Uh, I think we need to get rid of that Hoplite unit. Even if it rebels for a turn or two. We'll have these guys in there soon who are a lot cheaper. And over here, 93. Get rid of the Prodromoi. Fine. Ice on. We go all the way north, guys, as well. We go so far north up here. It's going to be a... It's going to be a big challenge defending this region, so I think we leave it. Leave it pretty undefended, honestly. Uh, and they're actually quite happy up in this region. They're actually reasonably happy, which is very interesting. But then over here, we've done Ekbatana, etc. Now we need to do this little region. So this little region, we're actually not going to destroy too many troops. Um, they probably destroy you, though. Greek Peltas, not going to be that useful. Especially against horse archers. <laughs> uh, Prodromoi might be, though. So we're going to send you. The one problem with this region is we've only got that little sliver of land to get between each side. So let's get Hoplites are definitely going to be useful. You can get rid of that Theroperoi. That's taken as instantly positive. You guys can't really afford to unless I do this. Let's get rid of you. I really want to get rid of that Theroperoi because of the expense. Yeah, good. And then Zadrakata. We'll leave you on 62 for now. Then up here in the north. Like I've said before, Ekbatana is going to be our defense over here. Not these little settlements that are a bit pointless. And 67 is fine for me. And then all these places we've done. Well, that's, that's that out the way, guys. That was... Uh, <laughs> Quicker than I expected anyway. So we've done a good job. We've stabilized our economy just by deleting troops. Um, over here, I think we will try not to have rebellions in some, some of our homelands. Um, but very good. We'll send you up to Pisinius. We're sending Antiochus back to Sardis. And we're sending a load of troops to Sardis to, uh, to get together. And uh, then we'll go after Bithynia, which is over here. Now, did we... Yeah, we didn't really do these guys, did we? So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, get rid of these guys. Delete you. Delete you. And then the same thing we'll do here is destroy as much as we can. Get all this lovely money. Don't think we can destroy a port. Oh, we can. Fantastic. Uh, vineyard. Yep. And not that. And then we'll let you rebel. Same thing with Lysimachia. Troops in here. I quite like the Thracians though, you know. I think we'll... Uh, I want to just show you the Thracians. So we'll keep them for now. Go low. You stay there. Then same thing. Delete everything in here. In terms of building, we've got very specific buildings I'm going to be doing. And I want to just thank the mod team for giving me some tips. Obviously, I've done my own sort of playthroughs, but they gave me some glorious tips on where to build and what to do in many of the places. Um, then over here, we've got so many settlements, guys. It's it's obscene amount of settlements. So we'll put you on low. You can go to Sardis as well. So we're going to have a pretty large army ready to go, really. And I think I'll take you two. How unhappy has that left them? 
Very. <laughs> Not as unhappy as Lysomachia, though. They're a very unhappy bunch right now. Then you guys over here. Let's get rid of the Greek Peltasts. We'll leave the Prodromoi in there for now, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Prodromoi. But that's fine. I think we're there then with all the regions, guys. Kataion. Yeah, 66 is fine. We're going to have some rebellions. It's going to happen. We're going to have some serious rebellions. Uh, but yes, so we've done that. Now let's talk about building. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to build in Seleucia. Clearly, there is a very, very good, na very, very, very good building here. It's called the Trade Caravan. If we look at that, 1,275 and it's 1,800 cost building. That is crazy. <laughs> Same thing in Babylon if we can, but I don't think we can. Uh, but we'll have a look at expanding our farms in this whole region. This is pretty much going to be our economic hub because if we look... Out to the west, say Sardis, for example, which is a, a minor city out here in the west, one of our biggest cities. You can see we're losing so much to corruption. But on the other hand, this is going to be our recruitment hub. And seeing as we've started off with a little bit more money than I was expecting, I might go straight for that army barracks. You know, it costs 5,000, but that's fine. But then we're going to come up here into Babylon again. And then we're going to go through the rest of these places. So we built at Seleucia. So let's build farms everywhere we can. Or inland trade centers. See how much that brings. 143. I don't think that fully goes for it. I think... Yeah, I think the communal farming is still going to be the best. It's not a huge amount of money compared to that trade uh, caravan. But yeah, we'll leave that. So Babylon. What do we want to build at Babylon? Let's build the communal farming as well. Yeah, that's going to do some nice bit of income. Not a huge amount, but a nice bit. Then let's get some communal farming. Actually, we'll build roads here. A lot of places don't have roads in our empire currently. Uruk, how much is that? Yeah, they do find the farming. It's 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 fine. It's not the biggest amount of money, but it's it's something. It'll nibble away at our income. Give us a little bit of an a nibbly income. Um, I don't even know what that means, but it means something in my head, guys. Okay. Uh, right then, so over here, let's go for the farming as well. Is that the same? Yeah, they're pretty much the same for the farming everywhere around here. Down here, we'll go for the port. And then, what we're going to do... Now, we've got a little bit of money left. We're going to go through all the angry places, which is many of them. And you can see how many settlements we have, guys. Uh, not turn income. I want anger. Can I have uh, anger? I want anger. Show me the anger. Right, so Assur, and then we're going to build the Shrine to Hera. Two things the Shrine to Hera is going to do. First things first, it's going to reduce corruption, which that was a bad example because Assur doesn't have corruption. Um, but yeah, if we go to Lysomachia, which it definitely does, and Marinea, we're leaving those. But Bizalpitis does have corruption. And look, if we, uh, if we build the Shrine to Hera, we reduce our corruption and we increase our happiness by a whole... 10% guys, including 5% law, which is great. So that's definitely a fantastic building to build if you get the chance. Um, I don't know why it keeps going down to the bottom every time I press on a new one, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to build in all the angry places to try and make them happy. And it only costs 350, so you can build a lot of these guys around the map. So we're going to build a load of them. And I know this is a lot of campaign management, guys, and we're still on the first turn. But look how many cities we have. It's necessary <laughs> to uh, to bring this to heal for the rest of the game. We've got to keep our nation together. We're going to lose provinces to rebellions, guys. It's going to happen. But I prefer it to be less. <laughs> less than more. Zadrakata, definitely we want that. Bamea Kibarotas. We've still got... Ability for some more. So we'll take a little bit of a... So Ekbatana, I definitely want that. Um, and then Stakra, we'll take it. So we're going to spend all our money. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. Not quite. So Atlas, we're going to go get you to speak to the Ptolemies. So you go down there. And then where's our spy? I'm thinking we send you 
Just on a bit of a journey up through there. Just revealing things for us. There we are. I hate it why the AI just decides it's going to go there. No. I wanna, I've want pressed where I pressed for a reason. Like, stupid thing. Anyway. Um, right then, guys. Well, I don't think that's taken too long to get through all of that campaign management, honestly. I think that's a reasonable amount of time. 15, 20 minutes for the Seleucids. Quite a lot. Uh, quite, quite a small amount of time, really. But anyway, let's... Uh, Let's uh, let's press the end turn, and I'm a bit scared about the amount of rebellions we're gonna have, guys. But a lot of these places are on 70, so it shouldn't be too bad. And hopefully, we don't get attacked by anyone straight away. Maybe we'll get some diplomatic offers. That would be amazing. Ptolemies, oh, I was expecting the Ptolemies a little bit. Uh, the Galatians can can go away. We don't want unwashed barbarians at our gates, do we, guys? Like the intro says. Um, the Antigonids would be a nice ally. I'd really like them. I also want to get trade agreements with everyone because obviously we have a huge amount of coastline with a lot of ports. And trade, although at the start isn't as strong as uh, as it as it normally could be, um, it is uh, it is very strong towards the late game. And if we start it early, we'll just keep ramping up those bonuses. It's fantastic. So candidate for adoption, of course, we're going to take you. Where have you gone though? Kadoi. See, this is the problem. Take me to him. <laughs> Kadoi. I don't know where that is. Ah, it's over here. Cool. Right then. I mean, you can stay in Kadoi. It's just a town, though. I want you governing something bigger. But that's actually made them happy. So if I take you out, are you... Yeah, they're still as happy. That's fine. What about over here? Uh, is there any large towns nearly ready to upgrade? There's a few large towns. What about Ephesus? Yeah, let's go uh, send you to... Oh, no, there's someone in Ephesus. Smyrna, we'll send you to Smyrna. That's fine. All right, everyone into Sardis. I need to keep remembering to press spacebar. Into Sardis, my friends. So we're getting a bit of an army together, which is nice. Uh, have we not got that hoplite there? No. So we've got a pretty fat army now, which is quite good. And we've got a couple of phalangite units, which is excellent. Do I want... Uh, well, Antiochus is leading. But he's so old. We need someone younger. We will take you. You've got five influence, bro. In friendly territory. Optimist. Connoisseur. We should probably have a look at our family tree. We've not looked at that yet. So, yeah. We have Seleucos before as our father... Antio Antiochus over here. And Seleucos again, which is the faction there. Antiochus, another one. There's going to be a lot of Antiochuses and Seleucoses, guys. <laughs> but we have Achaos, the Elder, Alexandros, Andrew Marcos. Uh, we've got Theodotus. And so we've got a few family trees, as we can see. <laughs> but this is the main one. This is our Nicator family tree. Uh, but I do kind of want someone younger. So this guy... Actually, you're going to carol with the army. We will take uh, an Antiochus, but you're also going to travel with the army. So we're going to retrain all of them. Now let's have a look. A new son adopted. Civil disorder. We've got civil disorder in a few places. Lysomachia, we know. Marinea, we know. This place, we don't want it to be uh, bad. We're going to have to repair. That was a bit of a mis mistake from me. I'm sure I should have put it on low. Zranka, again, I don't care. And over here, that should be solved by the entrance of these boyos. Oh, there we are. Fantastic. We could even... Mm, maybe not normal while they're still rioting. Uh, agent found Iconion by the Galatians. There he is. Sneaky, sneaky. We're the strongest and the largest faction, even after we've destroyed, like, pretty much half of our army. <laughs> There's a lot of unemployed uh, soldiers about at the minute, isn't there? Right, building-wise, we're going to go through, again, unhappy places and build the Shrine to Hera again. That's really going to be the important thing. Shrine to Hera. Places that haven't got it, that are, that are unhappy this turn, are going to get it. Uh, yeah, Shrine to Hera. Alexandra Ariane, of course. Jakarta. And Narzabos. And you can see different... Uh, we've had different amount of unrest through each turn. Or we're just, just under the limit. So, we are moving troops around, of course. 
You guys get to there. We also got troops going to Ekbatana, haven't we? Uh, which is over here. There it is. Got you going to Ekbatana. And we're good. I think that's the second turn, guys. I think we can press the end turn again. But with uh, this amount of people, <laughs> this amount of settlements and people, it's, uh, it's hard to know every time. You're coming to Sardis as well. It's going to be a big army that we're going to have, which is fantastic. So let's press that end turn. We've got the spy and the diplomat moving. Ah, that's probably good that you actually stopped me there. So let's go trade rights. They want... So they're allied with the Bithynia, which is why we can't... Uh, well, I've got a lot of... Wait, I'm already allied with the Antigonids. Pergamon, Bactria, of course. Kyrene as well. Cappadocia. So, really, we want to avoid war with the Ptolemies for as long as possible. But I'm going to try and sell this. I'm going to try 10,000 for map information. Because it's based on the amount of settlements you have. And I believe it's 200 per settlement they're willing to pay. And we have around 100. And that's very demanding. So, maybe they have balanced that. Let's try, like, 5,000. Very demanding. Okay, they don't want my map information. Well, I guess a thousand will do. A thousand will do, my friends. <laughs> oh, that's generous. Ah, well. Well, well, well. What do you think, then, Ptolemies? About a cheeky 2,000. Balance, okay. Okay, they accepted it. That's good. That's some extra money for us to build, uh, build quickly. So, Ephesus. Let's go with the Shrine to Hera as well. So, I believe that when you choose a temple on this one. You can't build the first level of the others. So, we we do... We might have to destroy some shrines to Hera later to build uh, other, other temples in their place instead. But for now, public order is so important. We've got one more place we can build. Harmosia. There we are. Oh, we're going to have to get familiar with a hundred places, guys. A hundred! A whole hundred. Anyway, uh... Oh, where are you going? You go there. Try, uh... Have a cheeky little look. I should have bought a spy. I need to buy some more spies. Got a lot of troops moving, guys. <laughs> Lots of troops moving. But that's fine. As long as they move at the end of the turn. Then that is fantastic. Uh, we've got to remember where we're going. Who we're going to. Etc. I'm hoping we can get a bit of a uh, battle off in this first episode. That would be fantastic. Um, and that will likely be against Bithynia with Antiochus's army. Right. Another candidate for adoption. Of course, we're going to accept. We're going to accept everyone we can. A civil result in a uh, revolt in Zranka. Yep. Maronea. Yep. Fantastic. That's what we wanted. Now, what civil disorder? So, Lysimachia. Alexandria Susia is getting very upset. Probably cultural disorder coming in. That's taken away all our money doing that. Oh, that's not ideal. So, I want to be building. But let's uh, see whether we can build another shrine to Hera. It's 67%. Yeah, we are stabilizing quite well, I'd say. Quite, I'm quite happy with how we're how we're doing right now. A lot le less red faces than before. This one, there we are, fantastic. Do you know what? We're gonna move our army from Sardis, even though not all of them have the upgrade. It's fine. We'll take um, these. No, not Achaeus. Oh, we can take Am Ammo Payon. He's sharp, confident commander, and a named character. This character is important enough to have their own name. They have things to do and places to be. Any troops that started their turn under this com character's command will be inspired by this character's diligence even after parting ways. What? <laughs> this character is important enough to have their own name. He has a name. Yes. I have a name. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is a bit confusing, but okay. We'll take the uh, all the hoplites first. Then the Theroporoi. Then Theroporoi. Three of you. We've got elephants, remember, which is pretty good. I think you... Where are we going to put you? Smyrna was okay. What about one of these over here? Large town, large town. Large town. 
They're all large towns, and I think we'll go for for this one. Although Alexandros, yeah, Alexandros already has a play, person in, so that's fine. Uh, so we've taken you. What are you? Oh, you're a hoppate as well, so you better get in there. And then we'll go for Chalcus. Oh no, we'll go for Thracians. Thracians, I love the Thracians. They look so awesome, those guys. They really do. I can't wait to show you them. We'll take the Akontistai. Then we'll take Cavalry, including the Elephants. Get you on low at Sardis now. Oh, it's a pretty big army. Uh, stick the Akontistai in there as well. And then we've got one more Thracian unit. Do we have any more units we could spare? I mean, I mean, we might as well get the Prodromoi in there ready for, ready for them unless there's anyone else. No, I don't think so. So we'll go. And we're going to go attack by Thinia. Fantastic. Lots of uh, faction announcements that aren't that important. Loads of Shrine to here is being built. Oh, and the port was built over here. So let's see how much money that's making now from trade. 300. That's decent. I'm quite happy with that. So monetarily, we're not going up. But we need to uh, do some conquering first in order for our money to go up. Of course, we've got a lot of troops moving around. That's completely understandable. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of places to go, a lot of places to be, like the named character, of course. <laughs> oh, Greek city. Wait, you exist yet? Oh, that's from their rebellion. Yeah, you can become my protectorate. Oh, thanks. Um, I'd like to offer you map information, but I want some money. I'm gonna say three thousand. You are my protectorate. You need to pay for the pay for the privilege of my map information. Uh, say 1,500 then, my friend. Still demanding, really? You don't want to see my glorious map information. I've got a lot of settlements, bro. No? Okay. Maybe they already gain that when they become a protectorate, which is why they don't want it. That would make perfect sense, to be fair. And we've just made a load more money. That's maybe from that. Um. No. <laughs> How do you feel about that, then? No. Cappadocia. Wait, trying to bribe me? Atropatine. Okay. Fantastic. How about an alliance, my bro? Yeah. Okay. So now we can see the Atropatine and where they are. They're right next to us up here. Uh, Chaos the Elder. Xenocratis. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll take you. You're in Sardis as well. We're going to have thousands of governors down here. We might need a lot of, uh, might need a lot of them, though. I think we'll go for Smyrna with you. Xenocratis. Get governing, my friend. A civil result in life li some Archaea. Good. Greek city-states. Uh, we've got a load more civil disorder now. So that solved that one. Skeleon, that solved that one. Uh, that should solve that one. Uh, oh, this one is not going to get solved easily. I think we go straight for this then. Whew, this is uh, this is tough. That might be a rebellion there if we don't get this sorted. And I'm gonna recruit whatever's cheaper. The Akontista is a lot cheaper. So let's recruit one of those and just monitor the situation. Yeah, that's solved. So we've solved most of them. Uh, new Sun, Xenocratis, fantastic. Faction announcements. We need to look at this diplomatic. So Seleucids. Greek cities and Atropatine are all allies. Yeah. Rome is the strongest faction already. Wow. Wow. Let's have a look at Seleucia. Oh, that's why the money went up so much. Look at that trade. Taxes are 800. Trade's 3,600, bro. Is there any more trade that we can do? <laughs> uh, we can do farming. That's not quite what I'm after. I, mean, I think Antioch will be our next place of building one of these let's have a look at what this does so 400 that's still very reasonable for something that's 1800 but it's more like 320 because of the corruption will be 79 coming from that but that's fine right then men of Seleucia it is time to become glorious and fight by Thinia I don't really know where they are <laughs> 
think they're there. That's the, that's their capital. I think they've got another settlement there. But time to take their capital. You're so close to rebelling, but it's okay. It's okay, bro. It's okay. You'll be okay. Got an extra hoplite here. Hmm. Goodbye. Extra money. Extra money for the bank. So. Did we... We managed to sell the map information, didn't we? So there's no one else this way that's really important. So. Let's come up. Let's come up. Uh, talk to Cappadocia, maybe? I also, with the money that we have, want to get a diplomat. 750 for a diplomat. Wow. Wow. I was going to recruit a spy down here as well, but I I guess not. <laughs> 750, bro. But once we've got him, we'll send him across to Greece to talk to all these little nations and try and extort as much money as we can. Uh, out of them for map information. We've got a min-max, boys. We've got a min-max. How are we looking down here in terms of troops? Well, I think there's no point having all you guys just sitting around in Antioch. You might as well already come down here. Same thing with you guys. You guys go to maybe the middle one. Doesn't matter which one. We'll just have a little bit of a garrison in all three. Uh, the Ptolemies are going to be a problem, guys. That's That's 100%... Uh, I think they're going to be a problem. A serious problem. I think we've got enough money to build one shrine to Hera. So, let's go Iconian. Nope, you've already built one. Ekbatana. Oh no, we can build the shrine to Hephaestus and stuff. I think um, Ekbatana is going to be a recruitment hub right in the middle of our empire. So let's go for the shrine to Hephaestus there. That'll be fine. And do we end the turn again, guys? I think we do. Fantastic. Yeah, obviously there's some inactive settlements, bro. <laughs> you go around that way. Having a look at Pontus over here. So there's rebel territory down here. Pontus up here. Cool. Right. Let's end the turn again. Still more troops coming along. Good. That's fine. I'm just hoping we don't get declared war on by the Ptolemies very early on. Because that would be a nightmare. Uh, we do not have the money or resources to be doing a war with such a big nation so early on. Uh, we need to take out the small little nations like Galatia and Bithynia. And then we'll kind of own that tip of Anatolia apart from the Ptolemies. Uh, and we'll be fine. He's also a named character. What a boy. He's in Ephesus. Oh my god, we got so many people down here. So many. Um, well, I guess go to Trallies. No, don't go to Trallies. Not Sperna either. Sardis. Yeah. About Lydikea Lycos. Oh, how good is this music, guys? It, it just is so nostalgic. <laughs> Every time I hear this song, it is so nostalgic. Okay, more civil disorder. Wait, Babylon's back to 70, so they should be fine. Baroya. Yeah, so this cultural unrest is, is becoming a serious issue, guys, as we can see. And we're having to make everywhere low taxes. Maybe build the next level of the Shrine to Hera. I think we have to. And train a Akontistai. They're nice and cheap. Is has expanded. Is. Is has expanded. Very good. Um. Well... Good. We're getting a lot. Antiochus, Satrapies, Tessirias, plus three law, plus two farming, three influence, and two management. That's an amazing trait. Astronomy Scholar. There's some good traits in here. Really good ones. Fantastic. So, first things first, let's get over to uh, Antiochus. One, and, one of the Antiochuses, anyway. Okay, there's that rebel settlement. I'm not bothered by that. Yes! Here we are, boys. I'm hoping they don't get a, a, a major garrison. But yes, here we are. What is our general's bodyguard? It's just a cavalry unit, right? It's a very good cavalry unit. So we'll try and use our general as much as possible. But nice here. Thank you. We, uh, we will take it. We will take it. And then, so if we take these two relatively without too much casualties, 
We'll go for Chaos. We'll come back to Sardis for retraining. And then we'll go after Galatia with this army. I mean, the Ellies are the one thing that we've got to be careful with. Try not to get them killed. I'm not going to use them in a siege battle, guys. That would just be dumb. So, uh, we're not going to use them in that first siege battle. We shouldn't do anyway. Because that would just be a bit silly. Right, then over here. Low corruption territory. Let's build stuff that's going to bring us money. River ports. How much does that bring? 138. Are you sure? Yeah, they don't have much trade. So let's build... Lucia, we want to build something. We could go for the farming. I think the farming. Babylon, do you know what? We don't have... Yeah, you're not going to be a recruitment hub. Level 5, native culture, Mesopotamian. How do we get rid of that? Go for the next level culture conversion. Arab culture here as well. That's great to see. Uh, represented in the mod in these places. Uh, so, I mean, I don't think... Oh, does a blacksmith make us money? No. Okay. But over here... Yeah. But over here we want... Probably want that as a bit of a recruitment hub. If we can build a blacksmith there. Or we can at the... Um, at Seleucia as well. And then let's build... Probably communal farming in a couple of these places. Uruk's a lot larger town. So let's go for... Uh, nothing that will make us money there. Is that anything that will make you money? Oh, we'll go for a land clearance because it's cheap. Is there any other places that can have a land clearance? Please, show me the land clearance, bro. There we are. Fantastic. Right. End the turn and let's get into our first battle, guys. This is going to be great. I cannot wait. Oh, yes. Glorious, 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 glorious. Oh, it's just so good to be playing the Seleucids. I love the Seleucids. Oh, my God. I love them so much. I don't know why. I just love the Seleucids. Have I said that already? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, it's good. And this campaign management is just tickling the nerdy... The nerdy bones in my body. This is fantastic. Oh, become protectorate. They will... We will have to give them a hundred. For them to become protectorate. I mean, yes. We'll accept it. I think it will make them less likely. So let's see whether this is true, because... Yeah, I think they get map information when they become a protectorate, which is just a bit annoying. Uh, oh, well. Another one. You better... He's for Alexandros. Where? Oh, he's in Ephesus as well. How many children are you going to have, Alexandros? You're only 26 and he's 23. He cannot be your father, okay? <laughs> he cannot. These places are going to be so well governed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I think... Um, yeah, we'll go for Antioca Meandros. No, not you, Ephesus boys. He's got six influence, Alexandros. But Hermaeus, I'll take you uh, over there. Right, a new son. More civil disorder. Okay, it's different places every time. And we've just got to uh, deal with it in different ways. So you're, you need something for order. Hmm. Uh, so this Nicatorian just gives a solid... Say straight 500 money. So they did say that on the interview with Terminator, guys. So check that interview out. They've added that building in just in case you're struggling. Uh, but I don't... Wait. Practice range gives more law, but less happiness. Hmm. I don't like these guys rioting because they're on 67%. I'm going to build the trader. No, I'm not. I'm going to build one of you. And then that should sort it. So that's Katayon. We've sorted you. Also need to repair that. We're making some money now. We're making bank, boys. Get you on low. Repair those. Let's build a port here. It's worth the money. Where are we on the map? Yeah, it's worth the money down here, definitely. It's not too far away for the corruption. 
And then we'll get back with you. And then let's go for the land clearance at Iconion. Uh, Galzana has expanded. Wait. So uh, where's Iconion? Get rid of the land clearance. <laughs> and uh, Galzana. So it's just cultural unrest pretty much everywhere, guys, at the minute. Yeah. They have become a client. Carthage and Rome are at war. Shock. Never seen that before. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so okay. We, we are starting to stabilize our our regions, guys. And ideally, we kind of start need to start... Oh, wow. You need sorting out ASAP. You're going to rebel next turn, definitely. Could we avoid that, though, with anything... Don't think so. I don't think there's anything here that will avoid it. Potentially a unit if we could recruit a unit. So I would like to build that. as 4,800 though and take six turns. Uh, how? I mean, you are so far away. It wouldn't even be too bad if you rebelled. Do you know what? The problem, see, the problem with this region, it's next to Bactria and Parthia. Both of which I don't want to be at war with. <laughs> so I think... How much money are you making us? You're making us about 400. Less than 400, in fact. Yeah, you're not worth it. You're not worth it. I'm sorry. Get rid of you. And we'll uh, make sure no one can use any of these. Yeah, it will rebel. That'll be fantastic. Let's get us some more money. So, if we go back to Iconion... We can build those farms, like we talked about. We can probably build something else somewhere else. Build the farms there as well. Fantastic. Building galore. And then... Guys, it's here. Just got a quick save. Just to make sure. It's finally here. The first battle, guys. I know you've been waiting this whole time. They do have Rum Fire Infantry, who are very, very good. Levy, Phalangites, they're not going to be great. Thracian Infantry is good. Uh, Drenis of Bithynia. Anyway, guys, let's get into this battle then. Oh, glorious. We'll have a look at their units when we get on the battlefield, and we'll have a look at ours, of course, to show off some of those glorious new units, guys. And I will see you guys on the glorious battlefield. Here we are, guys. Yes! Oh, God! Sorry, sorry, guys. The microphone just fell into my own face! Ah, oh, glorious. Oh, why didn't I wait? I should have waited. And it's a foggy day. It's a foggy, foggy, foggy day. Right, let's uh, get all our ladder carriers together. Uh, and I think we need to organize these boys. It's a bit messy. So, Hoppertes, you'll need to be there with a the Theroperoid. Getting used to these new unit cards as well, guys. Well, let's have a look at some of our glorious infantry that have come out. If you've seen my Seleucid roster video, you will have seen a lot of these guys. Look at these Thracians. They look mean. They look scary. And they're a pretty decent unit. Decent 15 morale. 16 melee attack, which is armor-piercing with those... Curved swords, so they're going to be doing very nicely for us. Of course, we have our standard Theroperoi over here. We have our Greek Hoplites, who look just stunning. Look at these guys, ready to go. Ready, ready, ready to go. Um, anyone else? Oh, yeah, we've got our Agira Speedes. These are our post-reform Silver Shield unit, I believe. 46 defense, 31 defense skill, 23 morale, and 21 melee attack. A fantastic phalanx unit. Then we've got our Chalka Speeders, our mid-tier phalanx. 17 morale, 19 melee attack, 37 defense. Both of these units, just look at them. They look glorious. Then we have our Prodromoi over here. Our basic cavalry. Zistaforoi, our sort of early game heavy cavalry, as they look glorious as well. Ellie's over here, and our general. Nice, nice, nice. Right then, um, so I'm thinking we will do the standard technique. I think they might have people on the walls, you know. And if they do, 
That's fine. Because uh, I will keep these guys here to go up onto the walls if needs be. So let's have a look. Okay. Yes. Who are you? Thracian. They've got their own Thracian infantry on the walls. And you know what? Probably worth getting our hoplites up there. And now we'll speed it up. We're going to be using predominantly these guys to fight this battle. We'll get them forward. We might actually, we'll use our, yeah, let's use our Chalka Speeders because they have a phalanx unit, aren't they? No elephants. And we will use our cavalry, uh, general cavalry. In there. The rest of our cavalry, like the Prodromoy, etc., are not going to be useful. But we've got two Thracians. I do like the Thracians. All right, let's speed this up, guys. Getting shot a lot. We will not beat this Thracian in battle, guys. But on the walls with our Hoplite. But we'll sacrifice this Hoplite unit in order to open the gates, basically. Oh, if he. Uh... So either I want him to come all the way through. Yeah, let him come all the way through would be the ideal situation. Alright, slow it down. I want you to pop into there. And then we'll pop back round. So then they start getting shot. So they start getting shot by the towers. So, yeah, that's our tower now. Let's just get you round here. Where's the fastest way to the town square? Where is the town square? Bro? Is that? Oh, I don't know why I was being so dumb there. I thought that was a building. So, easiest way is just straight down there. That's that's fine. Hoplites are going to lose this quite severely. And we're going to see how good these, these Thracian infantry are. And they just look stunning as well, don't they? Look at those, look at those capes. Look at those cool designs. Yeah, hardly even anyone's hard. No one's like died for them yet. So, ideally, I want you to start firing, and then we'll get, where's the other Akantistite? Let's get rid of you. Get up on there, my friend. Once they've come through a little bit, what we're going to do, we're going to send our first Thracian up the walls as well. Who are you firing at? Romfea, yeah, we really want to kill those guys. They're a really, really good unit. I promise you, one of the strongest units. Not one of the strongest units in the game, but as an early game unit, so strong. These guys scare enemy infantry. Frighten nearby enemy infantry. They've got an armor-piercing weapon of 18 melee attack, guys. That is obscenely strong. So we need to take these towers first from Bythinia. Yeah, kill those Romfea. The Levy Phalangites, let's see how good they are. Uh, they're standard mid-tier Phalangites. Similar to our Chalka Speeders. So our poor Hoplites on here are getting shredded. Alright, let's speed this up again. Where's our guy gone? Yeah, poor Hoplites. We might have to... To keep them pinned, we might have to bring another guy up. I really don't want to, though. We're bringing the Thracians in the back of them anyway. So our Thracians, now they've taken some damage. Our Thracians should be able to do some damage to them. Let's get there. If you all got up, that would be great. Let's speed this up, guys. You gonna fire? Yeah, that's good. We might be killing some of our own men doing that, but it's worth it. <laughs> uh, and where are my Thracians now? I want you, if you could like fit in there without engaging them, that would be excellent. Then I'm gonna have to get you guys up there to just hold them in place while we come through the walls. And now the walls are ours. So what I want to do. Let's get you guys here. 
So which guys are going up? So, yeah, you three guys are all there for now. Uh, we'll get our general's bodyguards in as well. Come through, guys. Come through. So I kind of want to send the general's bodyguard around this way. So I'm going to send you guys around. Just go around the whole map, really. It doesn't doesn't matter too much. So if we send the general bodyguard around that way to charge them in the back, that would be fantastic. So it's our Thracians versus their Thracians now. And hopefully our Hoplites, if they get up. <laughs> so we're going to send you guys through first. It's going to take a while, this battle, guys, just because it's a siege battle. And we've got these, uh, we've got the, all these towers now firing up on the enemy, which is just hilarious. Ah, glorious. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I mean, most of their infantry is over this way. What have they got in the center? Do you know what? <laughs> General? <laughs> Go deal with them. And then we'll send a lot of our infantry this way to deal with their infantry. Send the Throperoi behind them, all on fire at will. Then we're going to send the two Hoplites this way. With the Thracians. If they will. Obviously the Thracians on fire at will as well. Oh, that's their royal bodyguard. So, let's go and get him. <laughs> Drenis of Bithynia. Yes, we've squished these boys now. Wavering. Fantastic. Make sure you're in a phalanx. Oh, these poor Thracians, they just don't know what to do, do they? Where are we? Get them. Charge! Come on! <laughs> that was the worst charge I've ever seen. Well, we might lose this, you know, because that charge was terrible. We should beat them in melee. I just don't want to lose Antiochus this early. I mean, he's old anyway, but it's fine. I think uh, I think it's time to maybe maybe just come out of that. <laughs> Not while they've got phalangites nearby. Let's get out. We are on hard hard, guys. I I forgot to say that. I think, but remember, we're on hard hard. Everything will be a little bit more difficult than normal. What is that? Is that the the Rompea? Poor guys, there's only 11 of them left. Right, come this way. And then Theroparoi, boys. Let's go. They do scare the enemy, so hopefully we're all eager still. Yeah, we are. What are you? Thracian Peltasts. Right, charge him again. This time I want a proper charge. Oh, he's running away. Yeah, charge. Let's go. This should be better. Yes. A lot better charge that time, guys. Fantastic. I'll leave you to sort the rest of them out. Where's me uh, phalangites? Oh, we ran into some resistance, did we? Some Thracian infantry. This Thracian infantry is getting destroyed. Good. Guys. You joking? Come on. Go! Yeah, there we are. Glorious! Killed him! Go kill these guys. I want to get the Thracians forward. And then around the kind of Theroparoi would be the next option against the Phalangites. So get around, boys, if you can. God damn it! Why are you so fucking far away? <laughs> you idiots! Get those Thracian Peltas and kill as many as you can. Come on in there. Right, now get there. Uh, you two. You're gonna get in there if you can. So we got just just stay in there. I, I really don't want to, to take that Phalangite unit. Phrase first. It's, everything in this, guys, is about just re retaining the amount of troops that we have. So you two, ideally, you there, where are you going? 
God, you're so far away. God damn it, bro. Get there. So you should be in there firing your javies. And this Theroparoi, let's get you there. Ideally, you can fire your javies there. Just want to kill these guys. Get as much damage as we can into these guys. Fire, come on. I don't want you to charge. Oh my god, why have you charged? <laughs> you idiots. Fire your goddamn javelins. Oh my god, bro. Well, we're going to have to come and surround these guys then. Goddamn Theroparoi being dumb as hell, bro. Like, what's it? Why? They both charged as well. And I, I definitely didn't press alt and attack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that phalanx, phalanx formation is going to destroy us. Well done, guys. We did well up here anyway. We only lost about half of each unit. Now we'll get there. Then we'll do the old squish. The squishy. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Woohoo. Yes. Kill them. Come on. Straight through, boys. Squish them. Oh, look at them falling. Look at them falling. God damn, kill those Ronfeyer infantry, bro. What are they doing? Guys! This is the annoying thing with Phalangites, is that... Like, in, like, Roman Remaster, they just don't know what to do. <laughs> like, they decide to do stupid, crazy shit the whole time. Forward again, boys. Bit of friendly fire, but I'm not too bothered. <laughs> as usual, as usual, as many people know on the channel, friendly fire does not bother me in the slightest most of the time. Let's get you guys there. They're wavering, but I believe they're still on the square, so they're not going to break. Oh, that is a glorious sight to see. Just squish them to death. Okay, we lost 300. That's not too bad. We killed, you know... Ne uh, nearly double. That's 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 quite a good result. In a siege as well, killing nearly double is good. These Hoplites did not fare well against that Thracians. <laughs> good lord. But everyone else did okay. Theroparoi, not great. Thracian infantry 62. Archers, 148. Wow, the MVPs, guys. The archers doing a fantastic job. Well then, glorious, guys. I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Glorious victory, like he says. <laughs> and I think, let's enslave. That's their capital gone. Now they have this. That's not theirs. So that's their new capital. I believe that's the only other place they've got. And it's wooden walls. They don't have a huge amount of people in there. It is uh, Thracian culture. But Greek, Greek is converting right now, which is fantastic. Now let's have a look. Native culture, Thracian. Oh, we need to destroy these. Bithyn He's got two Bithynian recruitments. I don't know why, but it'll give us some cash. Nice bit of cash, actually. Um, it's it's a lo only a large town. I think we build roads here, you know. Now, actually, let's be safe and build the shrine to Hera. And let's leave. And who shall we leave behind? Probably this unit of Hoplites. Zero percent, bro. Zero percent. Is there any mercenaries? Cheap ones. I mean, skirmish has been 1,700 is not cheap. So, I think... I mean, these are not cheap as, uh, as garrison units either, really, though. 55 plus 10, 65. Should be fine. It's going to riot for one turn. But we need these troops for Nicomedia. Which is just a town... So he won't have been able to recruit much from here. Ah, oh, fantastic. This is glorious. This is glorious. He's got a captured flag plus one influence and troop morale. Great. Oh, I just love this. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am having a ball right now. I am having an absolute ball. So Antioch. How do you have negative growth? Is building. That's good then. So I'm going to just sort all these uh, cities by level. So we have a few minor cities, and I want to be building in them all, really. At all times. Um, 
The execution square is great as well. And uh, I think so. I think up here, though, if we build the armorer, I mean, Ekbatana, as I say, is going to be our recruitment hub in this region. Well, let's uh, let's go for a sewer first. And then Susa, let's also go for a sewer. And Abydos, which is a bit unhappy, let's go for a sewer. <laughs> Everywhere gets a sewer. Sewers for everyone. Well then, guys, I don't think there's anything else for us to do this turn. So, oh, we have ships as well. Not the most. Twelve. These Byremes are trash, bro. Seleucid Byremes are trash. But anyway, <laughs> let's leave that for now. And I think, guys, we're going to end the episode there. So if you did enjoy that episode, a lot of campaign management. But that's how we have to roll with the Seleucids, guys. It's going to be the same the whole way through. And our empire is just vast. It's just huge. But we're currently doing a good job beating back Bithynia. Then it's going to be the, the Galatians next. And maybe Pontus. If we can wrap up all three of those before we go to war with the Ptolemies that would be fantastic we would kind of own like a lot of Anatolia at that point um, but we're kind of on the border waiting for the Ptolemies to attack us because they generally focus on Kyrene but once Kyrene's mopped up we are definitely their next target so Without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Really, really helps out. And comment what you thought down below. Remember that there should be episode two coming out an hour after this premiere. So keep your eye out for that. And you can binge watch the first two episodes. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again on the next video.